first up, news about Vishal Sikka, who has resigned as the MD and CEO of Infosys amidst differences with the Infosys founder, Narayan Murthy. In fact, Praveen Rao, who was the CEO, COO rather, will be now taking over as the interim MD and CEO of Infosys. Narayan Murthy had recently even said that Vishal Sikka was not fit to be the CEO, but more of a chief technology officer material. Vishal Sikka was appointed CEO and MD of Infosys in August 2014. Infosys, in fact, has been battling both the external and internal challenges in terms of uncertainty in the global economic environment and high-profile founders flagging concerns around alleged corporate governance lapses in the company. Now, as the news of the Infosys CEO and managing director's resignation came in, the markets also on expected lines reacted uh, in a negative way with the BSC Sensex plunging by 207.75 to 31,587.71 in early trade. In fact, we'll just take you through the uh, resignation letter by Vishal Sikka. He says, and I quote, after much reflection, I have concluded that it is indeed time for me to leave my current position as MD and CEO. Over the last several months and quarters, we have all been besieged by false, baseless, malicious, increasingly personal attacks, allegations, repeatedly proven false and baseless by multiple independent investigations. Despite this, the attacks still continued and they were amplified by the very people from whom we expected the most steadfast support. This continuous drumbeat of distractions and negativity over inhibits our ability to make some positive change in the company and stay focused on value creation. Addressing the noise by itself is damaging. Hundreds of hours of my own time has gone into this recently. So that was the resignation letter of Vishal Sikka and this is the official statement uh, by Infosys wherein they have said and I quote Sikka has been appointed executive vice chairman effective August 18th and he will be holding office until the new permanent chief executive officer and managing director will be taking charge which should be no later than March 31st 2018. The statement also said that Vishal Sikka will continue to focus on strategic initiatives, key customer relationships and technology development. UP Praveen Rao has been appointed as the Interim Chief Executive Officer and Managing Director and he will be now reporting to Vishal Sikka under the overall supervision and control of the company board. Let's go straight across now to uh, India today's uh, Rohini Swami for more details. Uh, you know, Rohini, a very personal resignation letter wherein Vishal Sikka, the outgoing CEO and MD, does talk about, uh, you know, the controversies, the allegations, but most importantly, highlighting on just how he found no support uh, from either the directors on the board or even the founder, Narayan Murthy. That's true, because this has been doing for some time now, and clearly Vishal Sikka's mail or resignation letter clearly talks about all the problems that he has faced and some of it also which he could have possibly not been able to say he decided to bear it all in his letter. Mm -hmm. Now if you look at the way uh, things have panned out to Vishal Sikha when he took over three years ago in 2014 he's been the first non-founder CEO of Infosys and upon his head, he, upon his shoulders he had a great responsibility of taking Infosys to another level and possibly that pressure also uh, coupled with what has happened uh, across the world in terms of Brexit, in terms of visa problems, as well as Trump becoming the uh, president of the United States, did affect Infosys as a company. But there was also another deep-rooted problem. The deep-rooted problem also being that a lot of people, executives as well as senior officials in the Indian forces, thought that a CEO, uh, as a CEO, we felt that could not deliver. And that also did do a lot of trouble. There were a lot of anonymous letters also that were being written. And uh, Further to um, dent the image, uh, right. possibly, or the working style of Vishal Sikha, nine top-level executives also had quit. So that itself does not hold good when it comes to his working style. Okay. So that is why we're seeing now him transit at, as a transition to uh, the executive vice chair. Okay, and amid those uh, very public differences between the outgoing CEO and, uh, you know, the board of directors and founder of Infosys, uh, India Today got a chance to speak to the former CEO, uh, Vishal Sikka, and this is what he had to say. Plan to hire 2,500 or so people locally back in the fall of 2014. And then we started our U.S. foundation, and the third logical step of that was the hiring of the 10,000 people in the U.S. And, and that sort of thing is something, those kinds of headwinds,
given those kind of challenges you can deal with but what's been going on over the last you know four five quarters and especially over the last since february of this past year or january of this past year is really i mean there have been this continuous drumbeat of these allegations and um news stories and uh, the same stuff about rajiv separation and panaya and all of this stuff over and over and over and over and over again I and mean, it is absolutely sickening and uh, what it does is every day you wake up I and mean, whenever i am home in california you wake up in the morning and there is some news story or the other asking basically a 4000 regurgitation of the same nonsense and it is at some point you just say that you know i i i this is too much and uh, i found that i was spending a way too much time on on dealing with those things but even that is a surface damage this is a you know responding to the noise responding to the um chaos on the surface what it does is it makes it difficult to carry out the change agenda i mean you are talking about creating a culture where we have right now as i speak to you something like 9500 projects in the company and this is a uh, we have been working praveen myself ranga ravi to create a culture where the 9500 projects can think of themselves as 9500 entrepreneurs and the zero distance initiative is about that and so it slows down your ability to make that kind of a change happen Deputy Editor Rohini Swamy continues to remain with us. Uh, you know, it, it's a very personal and a very painful uh, kind of uh, uh, resignation later, uh, letter, Rohini, where Vishal Sikka speaks of his personal anguish to deal with all sorts of controversies and allegations. Uh, how really will this bit of news affect the morale of the Infosys employees? Have you been able to speak to uh, anybody working with Infosys? How will that affect business as well? Well, if you just listen to Vishal Sikka, the tone and tenor does definitely reflect his anguish and yes. uh, possibly the kind of anxiety and pressure that he was under. If you notice the way he's talking about noises again and again and again, so very clearly that kind of pressure would also have seeped down to the infos to infosians. Now, a uh, lot of employees do they are shocked by Vishal Sikka's uh, uh, as of now resignation, but uh, a lot of executives or senior executives knew this was going to come at some point of time. also like i was saying that there have been a lot of problems that have been brewing in terms of how he has delivered as as a manager as he has been the ceo mm-hmm. and there have been a lot of issues when it comes even to with uh, narayan murthy himself so it looks very fine from the outside we have seen how the founder narayan murthy also has found that there have been issues with the working style of vishal sikka so why wouldn't the employees of the company also feel the same if they have experienced that While I did speak to a couple of infosians who have worked there, or uh, they are, they are of the opinion that well, this transition possibly was expected to happen. Okay. They're also now going to see how Praveen Rao will uh, will perform. Okay. Praveen Rao is an old boss there, thirty years of experience in infosys, so we'll have to see how infosians will react to this now. All right, we we'll leave it with that. Uh, thank you so much, Rohini, for joining us and just uh, taking us through all the news and updates uh, regarding the resignation by the outgoing CEO and MD of Infosys, Vishal Sikka.